everyone and welcome welcome back to my channel I know I disappeared for a little while but I'm back and I am uh, ready to talk to you about what happened while I was gone and why I was gone for a little bit and also I'm ready to tell you all about it my two months of no buy or uh, let's call it low buy period and uh, without further ado if you're interested in that go ahead and keep on watching So I haven't been recording or I haven't been posting anything for like two to three weeks now because I literally needed a break. I needed some time away from any stress environment, any type of uh, uh, things that can, can give me anxieties and things like that because I have not been um, feeling too great you know 2020 has been a very horrible year for all of us and I just needed to get away a little bit I needed to calm down for a second and not think about anything else and just figure out how to make things better for my life for my personal life and for my mental health and physical health as well because they're like in the same area right a little bit so I had to get away I had to uh, refine myself if so to speak you know if you if you want to say it that way and uh, I'm glad I did that I took a, um, I took a break from every social media platform I wasn't that much on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram I only watch a few few videos on YouTube while I was off um, and I just concentrate a little bit on my day-to-day -day work and uh, my uh, family which feels so much better now to come back and I have my battery all full and I'm ready to go now let's talk a little bit about the no buy let me tell you why I decided not to buy any more makeup and not to go and fall into the advertiser <laughs> or the marketing area stuff to, to buy more makeup. I have so much already in my collection that it is it's just I, I, it's absolutely insane. I, I don't think I will be able to use this makeup not even a five years you know what I mean so there's just too much too much going on and I decided that there's no no point in me buying even more makeup and unless I'm starting using some of it because I'm starting every single one of them but then I don't use up much of it right so I need to start using up a little bit more of the makeup that I own I'm probably gonna go for a lot of shop my stash and a lot of uh, and this pan that in the future so if you're interested in such video don't forget to subscribe and also ring that bell button for notific notifications and uh yeah that's what i was thinking you know i have way too much makeup all my drawers are full to the brim there's no no more point in buying more stuff but we're gonna go through my collection. We're gonna have a lot of videos about my collection and uh, a lot of shop my stash and stuff like that and how to how to use up certain items that you don't necessarily like that much but you paid money on it, a lot of money on it and you just don't wanna throw it away or wanna give it away. So we'll go through a lot of those things. I do have a bunch of rules. So let me talk you, let me talk you through the rules oh. that I have. Before we go into the rules, yes, I did cut my hair. I know it looks weird right I look a little bit different don't I <laughs> I do want to do a different hair color as well but I guess we'll go to that a little later you know for now it's like let's just start with the haircut and then we can go further with changing my hair color as well so I have five rules for my no buy low buy uh, period first first rule um that i have i put them down so i know okay that's why i'm looking down because i put them down said i can only buy something that i don't have or i finished but i don't have um i don't have doubles of or i don't have anything else like like for example 
what I'm what I'm referring to is like if I have a moisturizer and I finish that moisturizer and I don't have any other moisturizer in my collection then I can go ahead and repurchase that and that will need will not be part of my one monthly buy that was just gonna be a repurchase for something that I need you know what I mean that's that's how I have it um, but if I finish that a moisturizer and I really love that moisturizer but I have another five in my collection I cannot repurchase it until until I finished all those other five you understand what I'm saying now so that's how I want to do it I know it's a really harsh one but this is a good rule okay. to have Rule number two, before buying a needed product, <laughs> um, I have to check my drawers. Even if I don't have a favorite in my drawers for that specific items, I have to use that certain product for at least two weeks um, before I uh, decide what to do with that product but because if it's not a favorite product if it's a product that I don't like to use why do I keep it so what I want to do is like I want to go ahead and go through my drawers and when I shop my stash and if it's a, an item that I feel like oh, I don't like it I don't like it that much I don't know if I want to use that this week I still have to get it and I have to use it for two weeks and I have to decide at the end of two weeks I have to decide do I still want this product in my collection if I don't want that product in my collection I can get rid of it and then I can get the one that actually uh, saw and I thought I going to need it the third rule it is the one that I'm allowed to make a purchase I'm allowed to make one purchase a month and I'm allowed to buy anything I want like anything it could be a mystery box it could be um like a trend mood box it could be a foundation it could be a eyeshadow palette it could be whatever i want and i'm gonna incorporate you guys in choosing my monthly buy and so make sure to stay subscribed or be subscribed so you can vote on that next right. rule that i have it is make sure that you use up all your makeup and this is such an important rule because you know you you tend to have your favorites and and then you're just so into those items that you don't look at your other items and that is just getting i don't like <laughs> that is just so bad because i don't get to use other products that i have in my collection that i paid for it right i paid a lot of money for and they get they're going bad while i'm concentrating on one single item at a time that is just not oh five oh. <laughs> this is a huge huge rule and i'm going to tell you why i have so many many <laughs> lipsticks and lip products so rule number five it says do not buy any more lip product no <laughs> we have way too much uh, I have every single shade there is I have from a lot of companies I don't need any more lip products I just don't I'm gonna have to go in there anyway soon and just clean up a lot of the ones that I already have because I know for sure I have a bunch of them that are expired so I do not need any more lipstick product okay so that is what my no buy is those are the rules and this is what I was able to deal with during this two months there is two months oh my god the last two months there has been so many releases and I had so such a hard time 
um, like restraining myself and be like, no, no, but I need this. And I'm like, no, you don't need it. But I was like, no, but I need this. And I had to just go back to my drawers and just look into my drawers again and be like, yeah, I don't need this. Okay, so it's been a little tough, but two items that I did purchase during these two months of no buy or low buy, I purchased, the first one was a Raw Beauty Christie palette and the 14 One Love Your Selfie foundation. I do regret buying that, um, that palette. I really, really shouldn't have bought that palette because it is nothing amazing about that palette it's a very patchy and i'm gonna leave the video linked right here that i did talk about it but i do regret buying that because i do have similar colors in my collection that perform much better and i could have spared myself some money for that not the foundation though the foundation i love <laughs> so the foundation i'm glad i got it now the second item that i purchased this is really exciting because I, I mean, it's been, it's been a while since I had my eyes on Beauty Bakery and Beauty Bakery had a mystery box, I think, locks. last month has been, it's been about a month, yeah. Um, and then that was my second one that I ordered. Now for this, this month, which means like August, I haven't purchased anything yet. I was thinking to get something um but i still i don't know what you know i have a lot of things but i think maybe i'm just gonna skip i'm gonna skip the the august one and maybe i'm gonna get something double in september we will see i have seen a lot of releases oh my god uh, but I don't know if I need any of that. I don't know. I'm just going to have to go through it and go to the trend mode, um, page and see if I feel like I really, really need it. I don't know. We shall see. Okay. We shall see. Um, but yeah, I ordered a mystery box from Beauty Bakery. Was it worth it? maybe <laughs> maybe i haven't tried the product i have seen what is in the box but i have not tried the, uh, the product all right well that is it for today let me know if you guys are not no buy or low buy thing or um what would you guys love to purchase from the last releases that are on the trend with page let me know down below Thank you so much for watching and being here. I'm glad to see you back and I will see you all next time with another video. Bye-bye.